As we've discovered during the coronavirus pandemic, it's not always clear for people to know when they have COVID-19. Yeah, and even when they know they're sick, when should they seek medical help out there? New specialist Jed Bull sharing advice from an emergency physician. Let's say you just tested positive for COVID-19 with either a home test or a PCR test, or you know for other reasons that you probably have COVID-19. What now? Yeah, that's a good question. I actually get that a lot from friends and family um, texts in the middle of the night. Dr. Wing Province is an emergency physician and medical director of Intermountain Park City Hospital. He tells everyone to get a pulse oximeter. One of those little uh, cubes that you can put on your finger that tells you your oxygen level and, and your heart rate. He recommends having it to test your blood oxygen level when you think you're sick. Really, the people who need to come into the emergency department are those who have severe disease. And of course, no one's going to know that at home on their own. That's what we're here for. Physicians use the pulse oximeter, too, to help them differentiate between those who have severe disease and those with a milder or moderate case. A pulse oximeter is simple to use. Slip it on your finger, wait a few seconds, and you'll get a readout of your blood oxygen level and your pulse rate. So if your oxygen levels are less than 90 percent, then I would say you should come to an emergency department or call 911. Right now, as you might expect, pulse oximeters are in high demand. I found this one today at a pharmacy after a few phone calls. A coworker ordered one online yesterday and expects to get it soon. I paid $40 for this one. He's getting his online for about half that price. If you test positive for COVID and your oxygen level is above 90%, Province recommends isolating at home, hydrating, and taking ibuprofen for fever or body aches. Really importantly, just don't go out because when you go out with COVID, you continue this pandemic, but when you stay at home, you stop the spread, and that's really important. Dr. Province suggests it's a good idea to get one of these in the medicine cabinet now before we need it. Another good tool for the pandemic. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.